Taylor Swift stood in the middle of her spacious Nashville kitchen, her phone in hand, staring at the message she had just received. It was from Travis Kelsey, her boyfriend of six months, the NFL star who had been her rock through the whirlwind that was her life. But this message wasn't about a date night or a funny meme. It was a voice note, one that would change everything. She pressed play, and Travis's deep, familiar voice filled the room. Hey, Tay. I've been thinking a lot lately. You know, about us, our future, where we're headed. I've never felt this way before, and I need you to know something. I promise you, Taylor, I'm all in. Not just for now, but for the long haul. I want to be the guy who stands by your side, through the highs and lows, no matter what. I know your life is crazy, and mine is too, but I don't care. I'm ready to face it all with you. I'm ready for forever if you are." Taylor's heart skipped a beat. She was used to grand gestures, she'd been serenaded by the best, courted by some of the world's most famous men. But there was something different about this. Travis wasn't just offering love, he was offering a future, something so serious, so certain, that it left her completely baffled. She walked over to the large windows overlooking her garden, trying to process what she'd just heard. Travis had always been honest, open about his feelings, but this, this was different. It was raw, vulnerable, and it terrified her. Forever, she whispered to herself. The word hung in the air like a question she wasn't sure how to answer. Their relationship had been fun, easy, a breath of fresh air in the chaos of her life. They'd laughed, traveled, and supported each other's careers. But she hadn't allowed herself to think too far ahead, too afraid of what might come with it. And now, here he was, throwing it all on the table, daring her to consider something more, something deeper. Her mind raced back to her past relationships, the ones that had been intense and passionate but ultimately ended in heartbreak. She'd written countless songs about love, but this was different. This wasn't a fleeting romance or a short-lived passion. This was a man who was ready to commit, to share a life with her. She knew Travis was serious, he wasn't the type to say things he didn't mean. But the intensity of his promise, the emotion behind it, was overwhelming. She was so used to being in control, to having the upper hand in her relationships, but this, this was a whole new level. Taylor took a deep breath, trying to steady herself. She knew she had to talk to him, to figure out what this meant for both of them. But a part of her was scared, scared of what might happen if she allowed herself to believe in forever. She picked up her phone again, her fingers hovering over the call button. Before she could lose her nerve, she pressed it, waiting as the line rang. Hey, Tay, Travis's voice came through, warm and reassuring as always. Hey, she replied, her voice a little shaky. I got your message. I meant every word, he said softly. But I don't want to pressure you. I just. I needed you to know how I feel. I'm glad you did, she said, her heart pounding. But I need to be honest too. I'm scared, Travis. Scared of what this means, of what it could mean for us. I know, he said gently. And I'm scared too. But I think that's a good thing, you know? It means this is real, that it matters. Taylor smiled, despite herself. He always knew the right thing to say. You're right. It does matter. And I want to take this step with you, but, can we take it one day at a time? Absolutely, Travis replied without hesitation. I'm not going anywhere, Tay. We'll figure it out together. As they talked, Taylor felt the tension in her chest begin to ease. Maybe forever didn't have to be so scary after all. Maybe, just maybe, it was something worth fighting for. And as the sun set over Nashville, Taylor Swift allowed herself to believe in a future where love could be more than just a fleeting moment, it could be the beginning of something beautiful, something lasting. Something real. Taylor Swift had experienced many things in her life, stadium tours, awards, and the ups and downs of high-profile relationships. But nothing had prepared her for the moment she was living now, sitting in her New York apartment with Travis Kelsey, the football star who had swept her off her feet in a way no one else ever had. It had been a whirlwind romance, with the two of them crossing paths in a way that felt almost too good to be true. 
Travis, with his charm and sense of humor, had brought a lightness to Taylor's life that she hadn't realized she was missing. And she, with her depth and insight, had given Travis a new perspective on life and love. They were sitting on the couch, the city lights twinkling outside, when Travis turned to her, his eyes unusually serious. Taylor, he began, taking her hand in his, I need to tell you something. Taylor's heart skipped a beat. She had seen that look before, the one that preceded difficult conversations. But Travis was different. He wasn't like the others. What's on your mind? She asked, trying to keep her voice steady. Travis took a deep breath. You know how much you mean to me. You've changed my life in so many ways, and I can't imagine a future without you in it. He paused, searching for the right words. I've been thinking about us, about our future, and I want to make a promise to you. I promise that no matter what happens, I will always be there for you. I will always protect you, support you, and love you with everything I have. Taylor's eyes widened as she listened. It wasn't that she hadn't heard similar promises before, but there was something in Travis's voice that made this different. There was a raw, emotional intensity that caught her off guard. And I know this might sound crazy, Travis continued, but I've been thinking about what we have, and it's more than just love. It's like, it's like I've found my person. The one who makes me want to be better, to do better. I've never felt this way before, Taylor. Not with anyone. Taylor's breath hitched. She had written countless songs about love and heartbreak, about the highs and lows of relationships, but this, this was something else entirely. She felt a surge of emotions that she couldn't quite put into words. Travis, she began, her voice trembling slightly, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything, Travis said softly, brushing a stray lock of hair from her face. I just needed you to know how I feel. I've never been great with words, at least not the way you are, but I want to be the man you deserve. And I promise, Taylor, I'm all in. For as long as you'll have me. Taylor stared at him, utterly baffled by the depth of his sincerity. She had always been the one who was careful, who guarded her heart, but here was Travis, laying it all out there with a vulnerability she hadn't expected. She had no idea what the future held, but in that moment, with Travis by her side, she realized that maybe, just maybe, she didn't need to know. Maybe it was enough to be present, to be here with him, and to let the rest unfold as it would. With a tear in her eye and a smile on her face, she leaned in and kissed him, feeling a sense of peace that had eluded her for so long. For the first time in a long time, Taylor Swift felt like she had finally found something real, something worth holding on to. Taylor Swift was lounging in her New York apartment, the soft hum of city life buzzing faintly through the walls. The golden light of a late afternoon streamed through the windows, casting a warm glow over the room. She was curled up on the couch, flipping through a book, when her phone buzzed on the coffee table. It was a text from Travis. Hey, Tay, want to take a walk? I need to talk to you about something. A smile tugged at the corners of her lips. Travis had always been the kind of guy who wore his heart on his sleeve, but there was something different about his message that made her stomach flip with a mixture of curiosity and anticipation. Sure, where do you want to meet? She typed back quickly. Our usual spot. I'll be there in 20. 20 minutes later, Taylor found herself standing by the lake in Central Park, the place where they often came to escape the world. She could see Travis approaching from a distance, his tall frame easy to spot among the crowd. There was something about his stride, a seriousness in the way he moved, that made her heart skip a beat. When he reached her, he didn't say anything at first. He just stood there, looking at her with those intense, expressive eyes that always seemed to see right through her. She opened her mouth to say something, but before she could, he took her hands in his. Taylor, he began, his voice thick with emotion, I've been thinking a lot about us lately. About where we're going, about the future. And I want you to know something. Taylor felt her pulse quicken. There was a gravity to his tone that was unusual, even for Travis. What is it, Trav? He took a deep breath, as if stealing himself for what he was about to say. I promise you, no matter what happens, I will always fight for us. For you. For this relationship. 
I know my career is demanding, and yours is even more so, but I'm committed to making this work. I want you to know that you're my priority, Taylor. Not just now, but always. Taylor blinked, processing his words. She had never doubted his feelings for her, but this was different. This was, more. It was a depth of commitment she hadn't expected, and it left her momentarily speechless. Seeing the look of surprise on her face, Travis quickly added, I know this is a lot to take in, and I don't expect you to have all the answers right now. I just needed you to know how serious I am about us. Taylor finally found her voice. Travis, I. I'm completely baffled. Not in a bad way, she hurried to add when she saw the flicker of concern in his eyes. It's just. I never expected this. You're making this incredible promise, and I'm so touched, but also, surprised. Travis laughed softly, the tension easing from his shoulders. I guess I've never been good at keeping things simple, huh? She shook her head, a smile breaking through her astonishment. No, and that's one of the things I love about you. They stood there for a moment, the weight of his words settling between them. The noise of the park faded into the background as Taylor tried to wrap her head around the intensity of his promise. It wasn't that she didn't feel the same way, she did, but it was rare for her to be on the receiving end of such a raw, emotional declaration. She was the one who usually wrote about these feelings, who captured them in lyrics and melodies. But here was Travis, laying it all out in the open, with no filter, no reservations. Finally, she stepped closer to him, resting her head against his chest. Thank you, she whispered. For being so open. For loving me like this. He wrapped his arms around her, holding her tightly. Always, Tay. Always. As they stood there, wrapped in each other's arms, Taylor couldn't help but think about how her life had taken such an unexpected turn. Here she was, with a man who made her feel like she was living in one of her own love songs. And for the first time in a long time, she felt like she didn't need to write about it. Because this, right here, was more than enough.